than two weeks away in Massachusetts, and the governor's seat is up for grabs this year as Governor Charlie Baker steps down after two terms in office. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver joining us live in studio after speaking with two candidates hoping to be our next governor. Lexi. Chris Mora Healy and Jeff Deal are expected to be the two frontrunners in their respective parties, according to a UMass Amherst WCVB poll. Both of them visiting Western Mass this month, campaigning ahead of Election Day. The primary election is just 12 days away, and the Bay State is set to pick its new governor. Western Mass News caught up with the two presumed frontrunners, current Attorney General Maura Healy and former state rep Jeff Deal, to discuss their priorities for Massachusetts. They share a main issue, affordability. I've made it a priority to drive prices down. We're going to do that a couple of ways. We're going to increase housing stock, so we need more housing across Western Massachusetts. We're going to fix our public transit and make that more accessible and affordable. I know people talk about East West Rail. Obviously, that's part of the uh, overall plan uh, to help expand and create more uh, travel and uh, affordability. Housing, obviously, is a, is a huge cost, too. I want to make sure we unlock and tackle uh, new housing developments that are, um, are going to be uh, affordable and uh, get cities and towns to make sure that that land becomes available to help that, with that affordable housing. Deal also saying he wants to focus on wireless infrastructure to attract businesses to Massachusetts. And Healy saying our state has to work to heal the mental health and opioid crisis. On the topic of current reproductive health care laws in the Commonwealth. I am uh, trying to protect life where I can, but at the same time, you've got to respect that people should be able to make their own health care decisions, right? And one of those uh, things, too, is the vaccine mandates. People were forced to get a vaccine or else they had to lose their state job. So I want to make sure that we also are consistent and protect people's health care rights when it comes to what they would choose for their own medical care. We worked with the legislature on important laws that were passed recently to protect providers, to protect patients. I already know and, and we both know that there are patients coming from other states to Massachusetts seeking abortion care and we need to be supportive. And so there's a lot we need to continue to do. Healy also saying she supports a child tax credit to help provide relief for families while Deal is pushing to eliminate excise tax on vehicles. And both say they're committed to making sure the people of Western Mass have their needs met. The Chapter 90 road funds that come out to our, uh, our to Western Massachusetts are based on um, population and not on road miles. So unfortunately, in uh, areas like Boston where it's dense, they get more money to fix their roads when there's more roadway actually out here in Western Massachusetts. I want to change that formula so that we account for the road miles and not necessarily population. I love 413. And so that's why I, I, you know, I want people to know that I will be a governor who sees and hears and visits Western Massachusetts, often has a presence, also has people from Western Massachusetts represented in our agencies, on our boards, on our commissions. We're going to have better laws, better policies if we have representation. And a reminder, early voting begins this Saturday, and mail-in ballots are now a permanent option following legislation over the summer. Saturday is also the last day to register to vote if you want to cast a ballot in the primaries, which is September 6th. Reporting live in studio, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News.